Hey everybody, this is Rosemary Jane and I am going to walk you through today how to access your parents uh, access codes as well as check to see if your parents are connected. So in Schoology, you're going to click on courses, open up whatever course it is you wanna operate out of, your homeroom or your ninth grade biology, either way. Uh, you're gonna look on the left-hand side and you're gonna look at the members tab. And when you go to members, it shows all of the enrolled students in your class. And what you can see is below the name, there's a small gray name if that student has a connected parent. If they don't, I can look at a glance and see that I need to reach out to Grace's parent, I need to reach out to Jatan's parent, Jennifer's parent, because they're not connected yet in Schoology. Well, if I reach out to them, I need to have the access codes. And some of you have been thinking that you had to have the letters in your hands, but you don't. You actually have the code right here in Schoology. So to access those, you want to go to the parent access code blue hyperlink right here on the lower um, lower right hand side of the screen, about midway down. Um, don't give the access code here. This is uh, this code is to join the course as a student, and even if somebody did join that, they'd be kicked out overnight with the PowerSchool sync. So this is for parents to get them connected to their student. So you click on parent access code. You click on download, and then an Excel file is going to open. It's CSV file. Now I have previously gone through and blocked out these codes to keep this um, secure for our students. But it's under column F for frustrating. You might have to resize it. I think it, it opens automatically without you being able to quite view it. So under column F, then I have these codes. Now you don't want to send this whole file to a parent. What you want to do is just be on the phone with that parent or um, on email. Uh, you need to verify in PowerSchool that you are connected to a parent and guardian. Um, have them share information in PowerSchool, like the email that's on file or the home phone number that's on file or verify the emergency contact, uh, some way to make sure you're talking to the parent or guardian. Then once you know who you're talking to, um, then you can share the access code with them. Now what you are going to direct them to do is to go to Schoology.com and they just have to sign up as a parent. They take that access code that you gave them, they plug it in here, and then it walks them through creating their account. So once they are connected to your students, then you will see their name appear below here. Do remind your parents to please enter their own name. Sometimes they're a little confused and they're entering their children's name and then you'll end up um, with one that says the same name. But you can just reach out to the parent, they can control that in their settings later. But that's all there really is. You actually have the codes right at your fingertips. And so you have the ability to both check if your parents are connected to Schoology, as well as share the access codes with them while we are doing this remote learning thing. Um, if you need further support, my team is available. I am on the Learning Technologies team, and we have this document, Virtual PE and Office Hours, at the top of our CPS Tech Talk course. So you can click on that document, and it's gonna show you a schedule. You might need to view it a little bigger. Um, but it'll show you the schedule for the week of what we're offering. So if you look at tomorrow, I'll be in office hours from 1 to 3 p.m. answering questions. But then we have different topics that we are offering for virtual PD. Um, also, just so you are aware, if you have more questions on Schoology in CPS Tech Talk, we have our Schoology resources right here. One that I always like to point our users to is a Schoology all-in-one guide where you can find this as well as other helpful tips for uh, using Schoology in your uh, for your remote learning. So thank you so much for your hard work and dedication to the students of this district. Um, we are here to support you. So should you need anything, do not hesitate and hope to see you in our office hours or virtual PD. Bye. Thanks.